Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Dear brothers and sisters, I hope you are all well, inshallah. This is a quick response to Ustad Abdurrahman Hassan. To give a quick backdrop so everybody knows what is going on here. In 2015, approximately seven years ago, I made a series on the Hanafi Fiqh channel, the true creed of the pious self, postulating and arguing that the stance and position of, uh, of the Shaira Madhuridiyah is in line with the pious self. Uh, Ustad Rahman Hassan responded in several episodes, uh, approximately 13 or 14, and then he stopped. Since then, uh, I haven't responded. I haven't said anything hitherto publicly about his response, and namely because he didn't respond to the entire thing. Uh, if my memory serves me correct, his student, Dawa Man, I do apologize if Dawa Man isn't his student, but according to my understanding, he is. He was mentioning at that time uh, that Ustad will respond to me in 60 or so episodes. So I was thinking it's going to be very long, but he stopped at 13 or 14, 13 or 14. Um, and he did not respond to any of the quotes that I had given, even though Ustad Abdurrahman Hassan demanded and he asked me to provide a quote from the Imam uh, from an imam, from the aim of Salaf, which uh, substantiates the position of the Ashaira. Uh, listen to the following clip. So I want to also remind my brother Muhammad Yasir Hadani, may Allah guide you and myself. Akhi, the topic that you're, you have in hand right now, in which you're talking about, is Qadiyya, which pertains to Allah's names and attributes. Bring a imam in a immati Salaf who preceded you in this understanding. That's all that's needed from you. So, as you can see, Ustad, he asked me to give a quote from the Imams of the Salaf, which substantiates my claim. Uh, it's quite sad to say that uh, this shows Ustad did not watch my series because episode number four, episode number four of my series, I give a plethora, copious quotes. And that episode was over an hour long. For one hour, I was constantly providing quotes and mostly from the pious Salaf. So it's quite evident and clear that Ustad did not watch my entire series, which is why I did not respond to him. But unfortunately, for the last five, six or years, some of the ardent followers of Ustad, with all due respect to them, they have created a, an unsolicited and bidden hysteria on social media. Uh, where they're saying that I haven't you know, responded or I haven't said anything. And the reason is clear because it's unwise, uh, somewhat absurd, uh, dare I say, to respond to something without watching the entire thing or hearing the entire argument. Uh, not every response is a valid and sound response. I mean, mus uh, Muslims, uh, they have back and forth with atheists and atheists celebrate that we've responded to the Muslims. Christians think that they've responded to Islam. Uh, Astaghfirullah, I'm not comparing Ustad Rahman Hassan with the Christians or atheists. He is my respectable uh, interlocutor. I have respect for him as a Muslim scholar with whom I have some, some differences. So I thought it's, uh, it's about time I clarify this uh, onto the public domain. Uh, in addition, there was a response from students at that time to what he had made, Ustad had made. Uh, I will provide the link for that in the inshallah description. So until Ustad Abdul Rahman Hassan does not res respond to all those quotes, which he, by the way, asked me to provide, I will not respond with anything. However, I have a better postulation, a better suggestion. Uh, I think I move forward. So has Ustad Abdul Rahman Hassan from the back and forth on social media. I invite him as my brother, as a scholar of Islam, let's sit down and have a discussion. Let's have a discussion on al asma or Sifat or any other topic that he would like uh, to do with the Ashaira. I also understand that Muhammad, Brother Muhammad Hijab uh, invited you, asked you for a discussion on, on the permissibility of Kalam and philosophy. We can all get together, have few discussions in a nice, brotherly, uh, friendly environment, inshallah. So this is a quick message to uh, Ustad Abdul Rahman Hassan, a quick response uh, to the situation. And uh, I am looking forward to hearing from him or his admin, inshallah ta'ala. May Allah ta'ala bless Ustad. May Allah bless everyone who is listening to this. And I think, finally, I think this will be a good opportunity for us to get together, have this discussion, inshallah. 
it can be private by all means and it will be a means of uniting our two groups together here in the UK which I think it is the need of our time. Barakallahu feekum wa bikum. Jazakumullahu khairan. Wassalamu alaikum.